Tonight, a Buffalo family of eight now homeless after a fire last night. Tonight, why they are blaming City Hall for this. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Kendra Eaglin is live from the scene of the fire with the latest for us. Yeah, Joanna, this is the abandoned house that caught fire yesterday, and those flames quickly spread over to the house next door. But take a look at what was in the middle of this house. It's all burned out now, but that was a huge pile of trash that neighbors had complained to the city about, they said, for weeks. Now, the two alarm fire broke out just before 7 o'clock last night at a vacant home at 54 St. Louis Avenue between Genesee and Walden. The fire then spread to the occupied house next door. Now, the cause of the fire has yet to be determined, but the fire chief on scene last night said that that huge pile of trash that was left in the driveway of the vacant home was a major fire hazard. Alice Williams lived in the house next door. Her family of eight now left homeless. She says she made several calls to 311 about that trash, but the city didn't move fast enough. It wouldn't have happened if the city of Buffalo would have been on their job. That's just my opinion. And now here we are, we homeless. We ain't got nowhere to stay. Me, my grandkids, my kids, nobody. I mean, we out. I mean, we lost everything. County records indicate the mailing address for the owner of the vacant home to be in Queens, New York. We were not able to make contact with them. Now, since the city is closed for election day, we reached out to them, but we're not able to find out what is going to happen to this vacant home. But we've just learned recently that the house next door, which was occupied, will be demolished. Meanwhile, Alice Williams and her family are staying in a motel tonight thanks to the Red Cross, but that voucher for them will expire today, so there's no word yet on where they'll go tomorrow. Live in Buffalo, Kendra Eaglin, 7 Eyewitness News. All right, thanks, Kendra.